In this short video, we will show you two very useful functionalities of Genie. The first functionality focuses on Metalog distributions. Metalog distributions are modern, very flexible distributions developed by Tom Keelan in the last decade. Metalog distributions can be learned from data. What we can see here is a data set opened in Bayes Fusion's Genie containing data from the original Tom Keelan publication on Metalog distributions. Numerical values in the data set represent the weights of steelhead caught and released in Oregon. Let's look at the histogram of the data. It does not look like any of the known parametric distributions, as you see. Quite likely it is bimodal. To fit a Metalog distribution to the data, just right-click on any of the cells and select Fit Metalog Distribution. This opens a dialog for fitting a Metalog distribution. Important elements of this dialog are the range of values in our data and the range of the distribution. In this case, the data run between roughly 0 and 40. Metalog distributions can be bounded, semi-bounded, and unbounded. Genie represents open intervals by minus and plus infinity. As the first step in learning, we fix the probabilities, which will determine the quantiles of the distribution. The default percentiles generated by Genie can be seen here. To create a set of Metalog distributions, please press the Recalc button. Genie shows several Metalog distributions fitted to the data. Clicking on any of the Metalog distributions on the left-hand side selects that distribution and displays its PDF and CDF. Changing the bin size allows us to get a better idea of how well the distribution fits the data. In the CDF plot, the yellow points represent specified quantiles and allow the user to judge the goodness of fit of the selected Metalog distribution. Let us add new probabilities. In this case, the old probabilities will be replaced with the original probabilities from Tom Keelan's publication. Please note that the quantiles are computed from the data records. Recalculating shows several possible Metalog distributions derived from the quantiles. Genie generated eight different Metalog distributions. It looks like the distribution with the shape parameter k equal to 8 fits the data set best, reflecting the bimodality of the probability distribution. To export the selected distribution to a Bayesian network model, please press either the Get Metalog or the Get Metalog A button, which will show the definition of the selected Metalog distribution. Pressing OK puts that definition on the clipboard. The copied definition can be subsequently pasted into the definition of a continuous variable. After setting a definition and proper boundaries, samples generated for the variable will correspond to the previously generated and chosen Metalog distribution. Metalog distributions can also be obtained directly from quantiles. Metalog Builder is exactly the same dialog, but without the predefined quantiles, as was the case with the Fit Metalog Distribution tool available from the Dataset Context menu. With no dataset, both probabilities and quantiles have to be specified by the user. The list of values pasted comes from the Bayes Fusion Metalog Builder, available at metalog.bayesfusion.com. This concludes the presentation of tools for constructing Metalog distributions in Genie. The second very useful tool in Genie 4.0 is the ability to visualize distribution constructed from arbitrary probability distributions and expressions. To invoke the Distribution Visualizer Open Tools menu and select the corresponding option. The Distribution Visualizer allows you to put any expression in the definition section and subsequently generate samples to visualize the distribution originating from this expression. Available functions and operators are listed on the right-hand side of the Probability Distribution Visualizer dialog. For example, beta distribution with parameters 1 and 5 gives the following visualization. 
It is possible to get a smoother distribution by increasing the number of samples. Beta with parameters 2 and 5 gives the following shape. Beta with parameters 3 and 5 will give more symmetric distribution. 4 and 5 gives even more symmetric distribution, and passing equal parameters should generate symmetric distribution. Reduction of the second parameter value generates distributions that are slanted in the other direction to the point of them being very asymmetric and taking most values in the second half of the interval. The domain can be infinite. To make the left-hand side and the right-hand side infinite, just type dash INF and INF in lower and upper bound text boxes respectively or leave them empty. The visualizer allows us not only to visualize the distribution, but also to visualize any expression transforming this distribution. As long as the expression is valid, Genie will generate the given number of samples from it. For example, let us take the sinus of the beta distribution brought to the second power. If the second power is not interesting enough, why don't we just multiply the value of the distribution by 10 and then bring it to the second power? That should give us something interesting. As you see, anything can be visualized here. Once we are happy with what we have found, we can copy the expression from the probability distribution visualizer window and paste it into the definition of any variable in our model. The variable will produce precisely the distribution that we have visualized interactively earlier. We have made both tools available to the decision modeling community through the web interface. To access them outside of Genie, please visit metalog.bayesfusion.com and prob.bayesfusion.com. This concludes our tutorial. You can find out more information online at bayesfusion.com. We invite you to watch our other tutorials and subscribe to our channel.